Allah praises the believers who when they make a contract or an agreement, they stick to it. The Prophet وسلم, said, Al Muslimuna ala shurutihim. Hadith is in Abu Dawood and Tirmidhi. Muslims and believers must stick to their agreements and contracts. You make a promise with someone, someone, you make a contract or an agreement of business or money or anything, and then afterwards you go and break the terms of the contract, that's not a true believer. What Rasul also told us, hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim, he says, when two people buy or do trade together, they can still move away so long as they have not agreed and moved away. So if you agree on a sale and then you've both gone, then the agreement has to happen. You have to buy and sell. But if you haven't moved away, then you can still change your mind. Then he said, but if, they, if one of them breaks the agreement after they have left, then, or both of them break it, if one of them breaks, sorry, he says, wa in katama, sorry about that, wa in katama, if one of them lied about something, or they hid a fault, or they lied about an agreement, then their trade will be unblessed. It will, there will be no barakah in it. Similar when somebody sells something and you lie about the product to the person who's going to buy it and you deceive them, then your wealth is not blessed. And Rasul he warned us that businessmen who lie to make a fraudulent deal or use Allah's name by making oaths to lie about a trade, say, Wallah, it's a good car. Wallah, it's only done that many Ks. Wallah, it's like this. Wallah, I've done it. Wallah, 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 wallah. Or they lie about something, a fault in it, and they've hidden it in order to deceive the buyer or the person they trade with. Rasul said, There will be a tyrant on the Day of Judgment. They will be gathered with the tyrants on the Day of Judgment, which is a major sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises the honest, trustworthy businessmen and tradespeople and people, and it's not just businessmen, people who do a job. Let's say you're an electrician or a plumber or whatever you are. You're a mechanic. You're a tradesperson who sells or invests. You're a real estate agent. You're a car salesman. You're a doctor. You're a teacher. You're a lawyer. Whatever you are, any kind of transaction between people, brothers and sisters, lying, deceiving, Manipulating, hiding the faults is a major sin. And your wealth will not have barakah, it will not be blessed. So my dear brothers and sisters, there is a weak hadith, but some scholars said it is, uh, it's acceptable. He said, honest businessmen, practicing believing, honest businessmen, or people who go into a transaction, will be gathered around the prophets and highest rank of righteous people on the day of judgment. Although this hadith is weak, there are several different narrations that make it stronger. And anyway, the meaning is true. So let us look at how many trades or how many agreements we have done before and which ones we lied about, which ones were we honest about, which ones did we hide things, which ones did we deceive, which ones were fraudulent. My dear brothers and sisters, fear Allah with your wealth. Your wealth belongs to who? To Allah. And anyone who looks after the wealth that Allah has given them, Allah will give it barakah, blessings for you, your children, your wife, your family, your house, everything. So fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your temptations and your body. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your parents and your children and family. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your wealth and your agreements and contracts with people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and bless your hearts. The question is asking, if you make dua and it doesn't happen for you, should you be content that it didn't happen or should you continue to make dua forever? The answer is, uh, there's, nothing, there's no harm in stopping making dua. Rasul Sallallahu he said, Alihu fi dua Alihu means be consistent, don't give up. But how do you continue doing it? You don't have to do it every night, every day, and then become fixated on that dua. Some people, they become a little bit a little bit overboard, they get a bit obsessed with it, right? So what you've got to do is you've got to do it with respect while having adab, manners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what it means is to continuously do it every week, every Friday, every two days, whenever you remember it, in your sujood, continue to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in the meantime, listen carefully, in the meantime, if what you have asked for specifically has not happened yet, in the meantime... Be patient and be content and say to yourself, number one, 
Maybe it has not happened yet because Allah knows that it is not the good time yet. Or you, you can say, maybe it hasn't happened yet because Allah may or may not give it to me at all. May or may not. Which means, which means he's going to do something else for me. Which is either he's going to ward off a harm or replace it with something better. But continue your dua because guess what? You don't know when is a good time or whether it's warded off. Always make the dua. But yeah, I mean, some people, they want to make a dua for the impossible. We once gave a talk here about al i'tida fi dua Allah says, Udu rabbakum tadarran wa khufiyatan wa dun al min al qawli bil ghudu wal asal. And then it goes on by saying, Wala ta'tadu. Call, your, call upon your Lord with uh, fear and tranquility and peace and belief. And do not raise your voice too high. Uh, silently do it. And then Allah says in the, in the day and in night, Allah then says, but do not transgress in your dua. My beloved brothers and sisters, in Islam, honesty is one of the most cherished traits, especially in business. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, the honest and trustworthy merchant will be with the prophets the truthful and the martyrs on the day of resurrection. This shows the immense reward for those who conduct their business with integrity. An honest business person not only earns the pleasure of Allah but also builds trust among customers and the community which is essential for long-term success. Integrity leads to blessings an honest business person avoids deceit fraud and unethical practices ensuring that every transaction is fair and transparent allah promises to bless the wealth of those who uphold honesty even if their profits seem modest compared to others as the quran reminds us and do not consume one another's wealth unjustly or send it to the rulers in order that you to consume a portion of the wealth of the people in sin while you know it is unlawful. Upholding integrity brings barakah, ensuring that wealth is pure and fulfilling. In a world where dishonesty is often normalized, an honest business person stands out as a beacon of trust. Customers are more likely to return to someone they trust, ensuring steady growth and a positive reputation. By being truthful about the quality of goods and services, avoiding false claims and fulfilling promises, a business person not only gains worldly success but also secures immense rewards in the hereafter. Allah's love for the honest merchant is a reminder that integrity is the cornerstone of true success. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.